Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, you will see how you can move your Docker images from JFrog Artifactory to AWS Container Registry ECR using DevOps pipelines. Before we start in this session, there are prerequisites which you have to make sure are in place. Number one is you have a JFrog account and you have a Docker repository just like here I have hello world report minus docker and also you have AWS ECR repository created so I have created here test world this is what we'll use for today's session and you should have a proper user I am user created with proper access to this ECR so the policy should have something like this it should have list images access on that repository and should have get authorization token access and some more ECR related operations which should be allowed on this test world repository. Now let's get to Azure DevOps. I have already created a YAML pipeline and I will walk you through this pipeline. It starts with trigger main so it will run on the main branch. Uh, it uses two variable groups artifactory. Uh, it will have all the variables which will allow access to JFrog Artifactory and here AWS variable group will have variables which can allow access to AWS. I am running it on self-hosted agent and you can run on Microsoft hosted agent as well. The first task is for docker build and it will use these parameters to build your application. Uh, for JFrog I am installing JFrog CLI and then using that I'm pushing this image to Artifactory. So first I'm trying to show how to push image to Artifactory and in the next step I will be pulling down the same image and then I will tag that particular image. So that image will be something like this which I will pull down from Artifactory and then I will tag it to match for AWS ECR. Here you can see AWS ECR image URI and the build number. After this there is the step to push this tagged image to AWS ECR. So first I am pushing an image which will have a tag of build number and then I am pushing the same image with the tag as latest. So you can see here push tag will be latest and push tag will be build number. Now I will show you how the library of these variable groups looks like. So here artifactory these variables. Uh, here I am defining artifactory registry service connection which is docker artifactory. I will show you how to create the service connection for artifactory. Uh, artifactory service connection. This is just a basic auth to connect to artifactory. Docker file path where the docker file will be. Image name. So this is my artifactory URL and this will be my repository in artifactory and this is a folder which I want to create inside the repository. Image repository will be again the repository name slash my folder structure image tag I am using the build number which will be generated by DevOps pipeline. Source repo this is will be used when I am trying to pull down uh, the image from artifactory so I will use the repository name and target repo is when I am trying to push to artifactory the image so the path will be repository slash the folder structure. Similarly if we go to another variable group AWS here I am defining the account ID AWS ECR image URI which will actually use the other variables to frame that particular URL for AWS ECR. Repository name will be test world and region is app southeast minus two. Let's quickly check the service connections also. So if you go to project setting service connections. So here I have created basic auth artifactory connection. If you edit that you can see it's a auth for basic authentication where you provide the URL for your artifactory and username password verify it and then save it so this is one connection you have to create another you have to create for docker connection because you are hosting docker images into artifactory so this one will be a docker registry connection and here I am using the others option giving the docker registry which is artifactory URL and username and password to log into your artifactory give some service connection name and then save it. So these two service connections are for Artifactory, the another one is for AWS service and here this connection will use the IAM user which we created. So get the access keys for that user and the secret text for that access key 
save it and then create the service connection. So these three service connections will be used. The pipeline has executed successfully. Let's go through the steps which it has performed. It this is a checkout process of the repository, Docker build, it builds the application, it installs the CLI here and pushes this image to JFrog Artifactory here and then pulls it back the same image. Now when it pushes the image, let's go to JFrog and see how does it look like. So you can see under hello world it has created 2nd April bill number 12. So if you see here 2nd April bill number 12 and then we pull it down and then create a tag for AWS ECR then push first we push with the bill number tag and next time we push with the latest tag. So this, this will be with the latest tag. And if you go to AWS ECR test for and you can see here it has got latest tag as well as the build number tag. So you can see it's very easy to move Docker image from JFrog to AWS ECR. I will share this ML file in the link in the description and I hope this will help you to build DevOps pipeline. Thanks for watching. Thank you. We'll see you in next session.